Hello again, thanks for joining me and quickly whiz through the colours, get it the right way around. Always have them in the same place on the palette so I know instinctively where they are. Down in the bottom left we've got Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizard and Crimson, Royal Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. Main brush is the large on Rancenay, does about 99% of the work and I'm using 15 by 11 watercolour paper. So off we go with the big eight brush, the water, just quickly covering the paper and then I'm going to go with a raw sienna, touch a cad yellow in there as well, just a bit of variety. Then I'm going to clean the brush and go to a bit of ultramarine, push down from this side and just dab 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 with wherever the uh, Water's running down the paper. It's a little bit strong, isn't it? Right. A little clouds here and there. Also, the advantage is it's stopping that water coming down paint. But let's just soak that up. And there are a few little clouds further down the bottom as well. And the main reasons for that is the tree that I'm about to put in will stand out a little bit better. A bit of cad yellow, a bit of ultramarine, and we're going somewhere around there. So add a bit of Payne's grey, really darkening. Darken that area just to contrast against that light a little bit. Also, I want this really dark, so I'm going to scrape in a, a farm or something, something there in the uh, in the landscape. So there's our little I'm going to push it. The paper's stretched slightly, so it's just. Scraping that building there now, there's the roof. I'll just slightly down, so I'm just going to leave that. I might come back down in a minute. And some over on the right hand side as well. These are slightly further away. So I'm doing them a little bit smaller. It's really dark in that. Yeah. Down there, top of that hill, it's just goes right beyond it. And this time I've turned it around just so I'm going to get a smaller, smaller roof. Scrape that down there like that. Pull that across, just pull that across there, just give the impression of the, the other side of that roof. And just slightly further. Just pull this paper flat, so it's flat against the surface. Right, let's clean the brush. I want to get back to some lighter colours. So, Clean the brush, let's go with a bit of raw sienna, sweep that across there like that. And that can go right down there, right around the back, around the back of there. So dab, 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 dab. Raw sienna. Bit of pain grain there. Bit of burnt umber. Getting quite muddy. Let's get back to some green, green field colours. And you push it in from this side. And get a bit of green in there as well, just, just a little bit up there. Back to the yellow. 
I think what I might do next before I go any further is brush this path in. Now I'm quite faint. So I'm just giving just a touch of red, a touch of blue, but not too much. I'm dabbing some out on the tissue and I'm just sweeping around there like that. Quite dry. to the uh, the road that's coming through so I want to go again clean the brush and I'm going to go back to a bit of yellow just push it off push them from this side some really sort of thick undergrowth so I want quite a fairly dry brush and a bit of brown, a bit of um, umber just a few things just growing here and there to know sometimes just put a few strokes in and then just stop before you go too far some, switch to this flat brush I'm trying to get some fence posts in there <coughs> so a bit of brown Bit of blue, just a touch more water so it comes off the brush a bit easier. It's too dry, start with being a bit more loose in the paint with a bit of water. So you've got one up there like that. Something like that. Switch into the little brush. I'm going to stick some, just going right up into the distance. Eh? Just a few little. Mostly back, we have to have some telegraph poles. Let's just stick them in, see what they look like. I'm just going brown, blue. I'm going to do some telegraph poles in there today, next one. So we've got one big one there, right in the. Let's try and get that bit more level. So I'm going to have to switch to the Riga brush. Mm, sort of, yeah, I'm going to go 
pretty Stick some wires down there so you got more in there and back in like that. And we're going to go down there like that. And we're going to go across these DFs. Right then, shadows. Good drive. Unless you have the shadows coming, you can either go that way or across there like that. I'm thinking from left to right, I think. I'm going to make a shadow mix. Bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue. Mix all those up. You'd have to experiment with how much water. I mean, I'm still learning myself how much water to use. The less water you have, the stronger the mix will be and the less underneath, the less you'll see through the shadows, if you, if you see what I mean. Um, I'm thinking there's like a big tree or something just out of shot and that's casting a big shadow across there like that. It's a good job I did go from left to right because the, the light's meant to be catching the uh, roofs up there and there, so it did have to come from that. I must uh, take a bit more notice in the future. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we need a little figure. So I'm switching to the smallest brush I've got, which is this little bigger brush. Nothing, just someone just silhouetted. I think I'm almost done there. Little birds in the sky. And then finish it off. Going down in this corner down there. So, 
Let's see what that looks like with the mains on it. There's our finished painting, the main, so let's go and have a closer look. So the sky area divided up to two main sections. On the right hand side, a little bit lighter, raw, um, raw sienna with a touch of cad yellow, I think I, th I threw in there. And then on the left, we've got ultramarine. And then a bit, a bit of tissue work. Not the greatest clouds I've, I've ever done but generally coming lighter down towards the horizon just so that these trees and distant land stand out a little bit better um, you can see it's quite dry so you get nice sharp edges then I put in all these distant trees there darkened it a little bit down the bottom so I could scrape in this little uh, cabin here again varying it a little, little darker there so it contrasts against that lighter trees behind it same on the right hand side Obviously smaller because it's further away, but again, try to vary the greens, but go up dark down the bottom so I could scrape in that rooftop, make like another little cabin in the distance. So with all these darker areas then, I've switched back to a lighter colour, clean the brush, back to a light cad yellow, these sort of greeny yellow fields there. A little bit of um, flat brush, just to pop in these fence posts. They obviously disappear. See the little shadows coming from each of them. And then a bit of ultramarine burnt on badge to sort of, sort of dirty muddy foreground area on the right so framing this left hand side we got these telegraph poles just put in with a big eight brush they obviously get smaller and smaller as they go off towards the house there and a bit of rigor work just to flick in the wires going down again these shadows coming off each one help create this sense of light um, and then you've got like, big trees just out of shot here on the left hand side so those big sweeping shadows cutting straight across the foreground and then we've got our path winding through to our, our couple there walking off into the distance finally some little birds up in the sky just to complete the scene well uh, that's it for this one I hope you enjoyed that I hope you can paint along with me don't forget to Keep posting your own paintings on the community page. Thanks as always for your support. So any questions, please ask. Until next time, happy painting.